welcome to You Deserve a Drink. I'm Mamrie Hart, and today we have a special Q and Rose. Introduce yourself, bitches. Hi, I'm Hannah Hart. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was perfect. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hannah Hart. Here are some of her accolades. <laughs> accolades? <laughs> Who are you, Grace? Hi, I'm Grace Helbing. Here's some of her accolades. <laughs> Thank you. We have been traveling together for basically the past two weeks. Yeah. We went to VidCon Europe, which was a blast. Yes, it was. And now we've been in Iceland for the last five days, which is the first vacation we've ever taken without work together. <laughs> but we've traveled so much that I feel like we're really good at it. We know when to give space, we know when to hang out. We yeah. are great at travel, and that's why I went on Twitter and asked you guys to ask specific travel-related questions. First thing you gotta do for Q and Rosé is you gotta open up some booze. Yeah. Um, yeah. I could I find any sparkling rosé, so it's just the Prosecco that the hotel gave us. What? I'm out of here. <laughs> My standards have not been met. Oh! Yes. Cheers. Cheers! Let's go ride some ATVs and have our bowels jostled. Oh. Mm. Oh, this is lovely. It's nice, Very right? Nice. Oh. Very nice. Iceland, more like Niceland. Mm-hmm. That's the 87th time? You get one in one video. That's it. That's okay, well, there it is. <laughs> Chels asks us, where do you guys next want to travel together? Oh, well, yesterday we started talking about going to Japan together. Yeah, I would like to go to Japan one day. Again, that'd be great. I want to go because I think we all really enjoy doing karaoke together. And since it's the birthplace of karaoke, mm -hmm. of oh, karaoke, yeah. private orchestra. Oh, is that what it means? Yeah. I had a private orchestra last night after well, eating it could some also weird mean like, stuff. Yeah, you know you what I mean? a lot of vegetables. <laughs> yeah. You ate a lot of vegetables. I mean, Iceland's been on my bucket list for a really long time, so I feel like I'm still basking in the fact that we are in Iceland. Very true. Yeah. But next up, Tokyo. Cheers. Cheers. Edward Burkett says, what's the one thing you miss the most when you travel? My dog. My bed. My dog. That's, in my was bed. That, was that a spoken word poem that we just my, did? My dog, my, my bed, bed, my dog in my bed. <laughs> Cheers to that. Okay. Jordan! Sorry, there's an exclamation point. Oh, Jordan! Jordan. What was the most fucked up thing y'all saw at the penis museum? Okay, oh. here's the deal, guys. <laughs> if you don't know, Reykjavik has a penis museum. Penis museum. Penis museum. And when we walked past it, like the gift shop is all like stuffed animal peens. Very quirky. We thought it was gonna be very a silly time. It was like bachelorette party meets Disney store. Yes. You know what I mean? Lots it's of, what we thought. Lots of plush penises. Mm -hmm. And then we got in there and it was like walking into a slaughterhouse. It was like the like it was like deca not decapitated. Dick capitated. It was yeah. like decapitated penises in jars. Actually, it was just it wasn't animal like that. penises in, in jars. jars. Like they're being pickled for years. And it was just all that's all it was. And it was a tiny room a filled with pickled penises. There were like three 95 year old men penises donated in jars at the Everything. end. Everything. Like that was the finale. Everything, Everything looked like that. But like with a wig on. Like, <laughs> that, oh, that's my impression of the penis museum. That's, that's all we saw. <laughs> also, there's a bathroom where the handle is a penis, and I said, that's one doorknob. <laughs> Cheers! Yeah. Fucked up for life. Can I smell your dick? Silky says, what song would you link to this trip to the Netherlands What's and that? Iceland? I mean, okay. Last night we went to go see Jesus Christ Superstar. Mm -hmm. Here's a That's challenge. unrelated to the answer to that question. <laughs> no, but because there's music. But yeah. here's, here's a travel tip that I'm gonna throw in there. Oh, this is a good travel tip. Whenever I get to a city, the like one of the first things I do is I look up their, their biggest concert halls and I see what concerts are there. So I looked up what was at their beautiful orchestra hall and Jesus Christ Superstar happened to be playing last night and the three of us happened to love that musical yeah so you look up the three things you look up are the concert hall what's playing locally vegan restaurants vegan restaurants and puppets and puppet theaters oh she yeah. tries she just wants to see if there's a puppet she theater. loves puppets. i think it's fun because pretty much they're always uh shows made for kids so you can follow along even if it's not in your native tongue <laughs> oh, oh true that's really true mm. um but wait what oh, song would you link here's what i would link we stayed in this beautiful, lovely, quaint hotel the first night, and there was a group of girls oh from God. Philadelphia there that brought their own speaker and decided in the middle of the afternoon, 4 p.m., sun's out, every family and ourselves are making waffles. It's, it's so cozy ass. It's 
homey, cozy, all of it. They decide it's time for Mr. Worldwide. They start playing Pitbull, Black Eyed Peas, just as loud as they could in the living room. And it was one of the most hilarious moments of juxtaposition of looking out, seeing this lava rock, and then just hearing fire rock in it. Like, oh, yeah. It was also weird because it was the first moment we all realized that we were old. As we played Scrabble, sip Fernet, and complained about the volume the of the youngsters, you. they were partying so hard that we couldn't even be in the same room as our puzzle. <laughs> oh my god. It's all <laughs> sad because it's true. <laughs> what are your must-haves in your carry-on? Chargers. I take all my charges in my backpack. I've been stranded too many times. Yeah, that's a given, I think. I bring a bag of makeup because I have lost my, like, to toiletries that I might need because I've lost my luggage before uh -huh. enough to know that, like, if I have to go to a hotel with whatever's only in my backpack, I'll put, like, my toothbrush, toothpaste, a brush, all that stuff in there. It's also really nice sometimes to, like, eat a small orange because it smells really nice. Mmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is nice. But I enjoy that. Okay. Okay. It, oh. <laughs> no one did that to you. Watch that. Play it back. It should have been stronger here. Anyway, this isn't what I have in carry on, but here's a new travel tip of mine. I have started putting um, a couple of little bottles of like vodka, like little airplane bottles yeah. in my little bag that I keep my like socks and underwear in and packing it because there's been too many times where we have gotten in late to a place, checked into the hotel there's no and there's bar. no mini bar. Yeah. And sometimes you've been traveling all day and you just want a cocktail. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for watching. You deserve a gift. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you for watching. Hey, I'll see you in Tokyo. Yep. Or on our channels for our other videos. All yeah. right, that's how you do this. <laughs> Jet like I'm like, wow. I'm sorry I abandoned you guys to go have the time of my life, but to make up for it, I'm gonna do a second video this week on Friday. So thumbs up below whether you'd like me to do a morning after fill or a traditional Y dad. Check me out being interactive. Grandma who? <laughs>